Hello and greetings from Iceland, but uh, this is just a short follow-up since I uploaded the video just a few days ago, covering the ongoing flood from Vatnajökull Glacier. But I'm leaving a link for you to that one. But uh, now we have a live camera there, and it's the state broadcasting service that is operating it, while this will be going on. And I decided to link to it since the video description of that one is not uh, helpful for non-Icelanders. And I added this uh, GPS tag so you can see the location. And you can find that in my links. So now you have the option to wait for the glacier flood because uh, it's nothing happening up by the volcano now. Scientists say it's too early to say that this is coming to an end. But there was, however, some glow detected there last night. So it's not completely dead. And those of you who have been using the live stream from a volcano as a screensaver in your TV or computer, you have the chance now to get a new location, and it's not a bad one. And notice the bridge there. This is the old bridge that the 2015 flood destroyed. If you look closely, you can see that there is almost nothing left under the bridge foundation. And it is very possible that it will crash down during this flood. So... There might be some excitement through this live cam, even if it's not a volcano. This bridge is just hanging there out of old habit. And the flood that we are seeing now is coming from the eastern cauldron. It started only a few days after a flood from the western one. That one started September 2nd, but this one is bigger. They always are from the eastern one. But the water isn't coming all that fast down now. Not as fast as in 2018. So this pocket of ice that uh, this is coming from, it is going to take it uh, a bit longer time to empty as it looks now. It is estimated that about 75 gigaliters of uh, flood water went through the first uh, measurement point today. It's called uh, Swain's Tinder and the measurements indicate that the total volume of water that we will see now is about 260 gigaliters. So we have only seen about one third of the total volume so far. So roads around there have been closed, SMS warnings have been sent to tourists in the region, and the local farmers were today herding the sheep away from the river. But uh, this footage is from two days TV news, and in the background we have some of the lava fields from the 1783 lucky eruption. And uh, it is very interesting to use Google Maps or uh, map.is to take a look at this uh, landscape through aerial photos. This is one strange land. But as for the floods, nothing unusual is going on. But this is, however, one of the bigger floods. It ranks number three or four for the past 60 years. But we have got so used to it that we are not losing any sleep over it. We are well prepared. But this is Iceland and it's better to be safe than sorry. We never know exactly how those floods behave or the volume. We don't expect any drama through the new live cam. But the bridge might come down though. And I have the feeling that this new live cam might provide us with some interesting footage tomorrow, after it gets uh, bright. So check on that. But uh, I'm not going to make it any longer this time. This is just one of the videos that I want to have online, close by my volcano stories, so I can link to them whenever I need. And of course preserve as a part of the ongoing story of this remarkable period that we are going through. And with that, I'm sending you best regards from the Volcano Island, Iceland.